What's up guys? Welcome back to yet another riveting episode here on the Avion Awesome channel and today I want to talk about dog beaches. Now I think most of you already know that it's already pretty hard enough as it is to try and find some really cool places to take your four-legged furry fur baby. But since I've been down here in Florida, I have found several different little dog beaches that I've absolutely loved. In this particular video, I'm going to be mainly focusing on this one, which is Canova Dog Beach. So this was roughly my second or third uh, dog beach that I've been to down here in Florida. And as most of you know, it's getting extremely difficult in order to find just some wide open spaces to, you know, cut your dog loose, let them run, have fun, explore, do dog things, you know? But for whatever reason, it seems as though the dog beaches seem to be a slight exception to that rule. And obviously, if you have an unruly animal that, you know, doesn't uh, play well with others or doesn't uh, respect other people's personal space, then please, yes, harness and leash your animal for sure. But I have noticed that for those well-behaved dogs, the ones that uh, get along and play nice with other animals, these dog beaches are a fantastic place to spend the day run around, play with your animal, have them get some socialization and interact with other dogs. It is a fantastic overall experience for getting your animal out in the wild, letting them sniff around and explore. Now this particular beach is located just north of Melbourne, Florida. And if you've never been there, it's just right off of the A1A on the northern side. Uh, it's a fantastic location because there's uh, close proximity to a lot of other activities like Cocoa Beach, Kennedy Space Center. Um, I happen to be in the area and I absolutely had this on my list as a place to uh, take my dog and run and play for the day. Having previous experience doing this same thing at Fort DeSoto Dog Beach, which I will link to that video here in the upper right hand corner if you're interested in checking that out. But aside from just having a place for your animal to run and play and get socialized with other uh, dogs that happen to be in the area, it's a great place to just go and spend the day. Uh, they've got a pavilion there, uh, they've got grills, they've got a picnic shelter, they've got benches all along the crossovers. They do in fact have restrooms and drinking fountains and they also have a couple of outside showers both for you and your dog. Not to mention this is, in fact, the only dog beach in the entire county. So if you do happen to be wheelchair bound, one of the three different crossovers that comes onto the beach is wheelchair accessible. And in my opinion, one of the biggest pluses to these dog beaches is that they know that they're a dog beach and they provide you with waste bags and receptacles so that you can throw your dog's poo away when they go to do their business. Now of the dog beaches I've been to, most of them are extremely clean. I have yet to step in any type of dog poo at any of these places and there are sometimes hundreds of dogs that are occupying the park. And I have spent hours and hours and hours at these dog beaches. Most of these places are filled with wonderful, considerate, well-behaved dogs, responsible dog owners, and almost everyone gets along just fine. If there happens to be a, a dog that's maybe a little shy or whatever, most of the time the owner will be like, hey, it's really nice to meet your dog. Just wanted to let you know that mine is a little bit, you know, iffy about other dogs or, you know, little dogs or maybe they're scared of big dogs. They usually have some sort of disclaimer because they know the behavior of their dog in general. <laughs> okay, so the Canova Dog Beach was honestly pretty daggone awesome. Um, it was a lot like the uh, Fort DeSoto Beach, only this one is completely free. So if you happen to be on the east coast of Florida and you happen to be, you know, maybe around the Cocoa Beach area, kind of like I have been, uh, this is an excellent, excellent beach. It's wide enough, you know, that all the people aren't kind of stepping on top of each other. And especially if you're full time and try and come out here during the week when most other folks or maybe at work uh, or something like that. But 
it was wide enough that you're not stepping right on top of each other. Uh, the surf was coming in, you know, I mean, it was just really overall a nice day. I wish it had been a little bit sunnier, but for whatever reason, it seems like every single time I want to take him to the doggy beach, there's always like just about uh, some rain in the forecast, whatever. It's all just, you know, <laughs> but that monkey man, he loves to go to the doggy beach because he gets to meet lots of new dogs and he gets to play with new dogs. And so far, Every place, every dog beach that we've actually gone to, it doesn't seem, its or it does seem like most people are only bringing well-adjusted pets. I've encountered absolutely no aggressive animals out here whatsoever. I'm not saying that it doesn't happen. I'm just saying that is not my experience thus far. And, you know, it does seem uh, also that, like, if their animal is a little bit more high-strung or a little bit more wild, they tend to keep theirs uh, on leashes and trying to control them a little bit more. So that is also another good thing. But for the other ones, if, if they got a pretty good control and their dogs don't like to leave their owners very far, then most of them, they just leave them off the leash. They all, you know, kind of get together. They know the good ones from the bad ones, and they just all kind of hang out and play and uh, just have a good time all day. So, And that's really what this is all about is... I get to do a little R&R, &R and he gets to just run all those yah yas out and make a few new friends. At any rate, guys, thanks so much for joining me here on yet another riveting episode of Avion Awesome. I'm your host, Mark Puckett, and I'm going to see you guys again on the next one. Peace.